In this demonstration, we'll explore the tight integration between Solid Edge and Solid Edge Cam Pro. You'll notice here we have a Solid Edge part all ready to be machined. And in order to speed up this demo, I'm actually going to open, I have Solid Edge Cam Pro, which is built on NX technology, already open. And you'll notice here I have my tool paths already generated. Let's verify these tool paths. And you can see that we're, they're predefined, ready uh, to be uh, machined, sent to uh, the post uh, to generate the G code for the shop floor. Now with this integration here, one of the problems we have seen with other CAM packages is that if there's a mid-design change or even a revision, often you would have to import the new model and redefine all your tooling um, and or CAM parameters, possibly some tooling parameters, but definitely the machining parameters. In here, what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll open up our solid edge and we'll make some changes. So let's uh, select this raised center pocket here along with the treatment feature of the round and we'll suppress those and save this. Now we have a one button click into the cam, solid edge cam pro and you'll notice that the model has automatically updated. In the event that the model hadn't updated, all I have to do is go into the part itself here, select the properties, go into the interoptability tab, and select update from file and apply. But as I said, this usually happens automatically. In the event it doesn't, we have a fail safe. You also notice that now our parameters have this uh, sign little indicator here indicating that these need to be regenerated. So I'll simply right click and hit generate and it'll go through and generate the new pass without the center boss. Notice that when it went to do the final one it recognized that some of the geometry has been removed. I'll simply say continue and telling the system that it's okay, that geometry is gone. We now have a new machining uh, program here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna verify it. And you can see a very simple update. We did not have to reload the model. The model updated automatically we did not have to redefine all the machining parameters. In some situations with other systems, you would have to redefine and for all intents and purposes, redo the CAM program. Here we simply regenerated the tool pass. Now let's just go back into our solid edge. And in the first case, we actually removed stuff. Let's add stuff and see if there's uh, how easy it is to do so. We'll simply go in and unsuppress this and there is our uh, center, raised center put back into the pocket. We'll save this. Again, one click to go back into the model. Model automatically updated. System is telling us we need to regenerate. So we'll go generate. It regenerates with the center boss and we accept it. Now, if you've been paying attention here, you'll notice that we actually miss this part here. And that's because of the type of uh, operation that we used here. We used a planar mill operation, which looks at boundaries as opposed to solids. Had we used the program to look at solids, that would automatically be updated but I've put this in on, on purpose so to show you how easy it is to add to this. So we'll simply edit into this, go into the geometry group where we specify our part boundaries, and we'll simply add a new part boundary. 
we'll add this face and make sure that the tool side is on the outside and we'll regenerate the tool path notice the outside is automatically or the sorry the raised center is automatically added we'll say okay and finally we can verify our new tool path our new tool program i should say and you can see without having to reinstall the model or reload the model we didn't have to go in and redefine each um, operation with all the machining parameters everything that was originally there stayed put and only what is different uh, gets changed a real time saver when you're working with cam and this shows you the tight integration between solid edge and solid edge cam pro thank you for watching